You're listening to Catholic Express, the daily podcast for Catholic kids that strives to plant seeds of faith. Hey there, Sprouts. Today is Friday, August 27th, 2021. It is also the feast day of St. Monica, and tomorrow is the feast day of her son, St. Augustine of Hippo. Now, this week we have concluded our study of the Beatitudes by looking at the eighth and final Beatitude, Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. We have explored the life of St. Rose of Lima, St. Louis, King of France, looked at the gift of suffering and how the Christian life is a battlefield, and also examined whether we are chasing honor in this world or God's honor. Now, today we're going to wrap things up by looking at two incredible saints in their biography, the saints that we are celebrating today and tomorrow, Saints Monica and her son, Augustine. Now, St. Monica was a mother. She was a devoted mother. She lived in the 300s, and she lived in the very top of Africa, very northern part of Africa, which at the time was part of the Roman Empire. In fact, she married a well-known Roman official who happened to be pagan. He was not Christian. And this was just at the very beginning of the time when the Christian faith was accepted in the Roman Empire. So even though she was married to this man and he respected her, he did not treat her very well. In fact, he was not true to his marriage vows, and he was probably even a little bit abusive to St. Monica. But they had children, and one of those children was St. Augustine. However, his early life was not very saint-like. St. Augustine decided to follow in the footsteps of his father. He rejected the Christian faith, and he was also very intelligent. So he spent his life pursuing academic things. He also lived a very sinful life. Now, through this time, St. Monica prayed diligently for both her son and her husband. She prayed that they would encounter Christ and that they would be converted. But for years and years, nothing changed. For years and years, she would pray, and neither her husband nor her son were converted. And yet, she didn't give up. Now, I want to stop there and just mention that sometimes when we think about suffering, we think about physical suffering, right? An illness or an injury. But there are many types of suffering. And one of the most painful types of suffering is suffering in relationships. When we are really praying that a person can be better, can know Christ, and they just refuse to change. That is another type of suffering, and this is a suffering that St. Monica endured for years, but she persevered. She continued on in the suffering and did not give up. And eventually, St. Augustine met another man that would become a saint, St. Ambrose. And through his preaching and teaching, St. Augustine was converted. And he was an all or nothing type of guy. The moment that he accepted the faith, he left behind his sinful life and devoted himself entirely to Jesus Christ. Eventually, he became a priest and then a bishop. And like I said, St. Augustine was very intelligent, and he began to dedicate all of his intelligence toward understanding the great mystery of God. He wrote many important letters talking about Jesus and the Christian life. One of his most important books was actually called The Confessions of St. Augustine where he talks about his early life and his conversion. So those prayers of his mother that she did not give up on, they really paid off. He converted, and still he is one of the most important theologians that the Catholic Church has ever had. Very, very important. And so, Sprouts, I just want to remind you that suffering is hard, that Christ loves you still, but suffering is important, and it is an honor to suffer for Jesus. So let's all be like St. Monica and persevere through our suffering, because we know 
that heaven is waiting for us. And so let's recite one last time the eighth beatitude. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. That's it for Catholic Sprouts today. We'll be back tomorrow. But until then, continue to grow in your faith and truly sprout into the beautiful creation that God created you to be. Thank you for being part of the Catholic Sprouts community as you prepare for the coming school year. We hope that some of our materials will be helpful. And I just encourage you to sign up to give us your email list so that you then have access to our entire library of resources. We have tons of free printable things from resources from Mary to the saints to feast days. We really encourage you to check out the link in the notes for this podcast episode and go and explore and use what we have to make it a beautiful Catholic school year. This show is a production of the Spoke Street Media Podcast Network. For more great podcasts, visit spokestreet.com.